One of the more powerful plugins you can use in OCalc Pro is called the HTML Reporting Plugin. What this plugin allows you to do is to define very easily using HTML tags your own report and then include that report in both batch mode and visual mode. Let's take a look at how that's done. The first thing you do is go under Manage Plugins and you make sure that your HTML reporting plugin is turned on. And then when you do that, you will notice on the Reports tab, under Custom Reports, instead of the traditional single custom report that uses Excel templates, you get custom HTML reports as well. So let's pull that up. And um, actually, the first thing we're going to do, pardon me, is make sure that we actually have a poll loaded so that we can see some of our results, because you've got to have some numbers to be able to put in your report. So now going on to Custom Reports, Custom HTML Reports, you can see this little dialog pops up. And there's three tabs. One is a list of all of the parameters that you can put into your HTML report. And if you look at these closely, you'll see that they're very similar to the ones you have available for making Excel reports. So if you look at the documentation for that, it's the same as this. Then there's the report definition. And finally, a page lets you preview it. So let's pull up a, let's make a new report definition. When I do that, it makes, um, it makes a little a sample one for me. So the first thing you'll notice is a special custom tag that says what is the size in pixels of the page that I want when I create my PDF versions of these reports in batch reporting. And then the rest of this you'll notice is very standard looking HTML. And we basically understand the HTML2 tags with a little bit of CSS. You can't do any JavaScript, you can't do anything really fancy, because uh, this is strictly for formatting purposes, not for uh, actually creating a website. But you can do tables like you see here, and you can do you can do images. And then you'll notice that I have, so for example here, um, a value which was on my tokens list. So when this HTML page is formatted, you're going the value of the MCU will be placed in this table cell. So let's take a look, view, preview. It'll take the poll that's loaded up and it'll actually spit out the report. So it tells me that's the the uh, file name, there's the MCU, there's the GCU, uh, the guy status is adequate, and so on and so forth. Um, so if we go back to our definition, and I'm going to call this, uh, you know, my fancy report. And I'm going to have my poll ID. And in addition to that, at the t on the top, I want to put, for example, let's see what I have. Uh, the version of software I ran it in. That's an easy one. So I go in here, I copy that tag, go to my definition, and I say software version, and then I place that tag. Easy as that. So now when I go and I say preview, it now says, here's my fancy report, blah, 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 software version 6.0. And so you can see how you could make up any report you wanted to. Similarly, I can change, you know, what I have pictures of. If I wanted the side view instead of the top view, I could go down on my list and I can say image. So instead of saying in image 3D, I could say image side. I won't even bother copying and pasting. I'll just go to my definition and I'll say this is image side. And now when I preview, my report comes out with the side view of the poll. So you can see how you can do a pretty good job of um, of laying this report out any way you want. You can use table elements, you can use list elements, you can use formatting, you can use various colors, you can center things. Um, that you can do a sort of limited amount of expression evaluation. So let's say for if for whatever reason I wanted my MCU to be displayed in the range of of uh, zero to one instead of one to a hundred, and I don't know why I won't want to do that, but let's show let's see how we would do that. Um, so we go here where it says MCU. I could say pound expression, 
sum MCU divided by 100, like that. And so if I go to my tokens list at the very bottom, you can see the list of all of A, how do I make expressions, and B, what are all the available operators that I have for doing expression evaluation. Let's go back and preview. And now you see it's it's expressed in the range 0 to 1 instead of 1 to 100. And so uh, these expressions can not only be simple math like I did, but you can combine together multiple values that you get out of the report. And so if you want values expressed in a particular way, or you want to do units conversion, or you want to, you know, turn angles to radians from degrees to radians for whatever reason, you can just go ahead and do that. In fact, the value of pi is included if you go to look, look down in your list of available cells or value expression tokens. And so you can see how that's a, a pretty powerful way to define reports. Now, unlike the Excel reports, these babies can actually be um, turned into PDF. Uh, let's go ahead and we can actually see what the ex resulting PDF would look like. And of course, because And there it is. There's, so there's the PDF version of that same report. Now what that allows me to do, if I say File, Save, and I'm going to overwrite the same report, so you can give it, a, give it a name. When I go now to my list of reports, you will see that the one I just made, called Sample Report, is in fact there. And if I, put it, if I click it, it'll pull it up. But Better than that, if I go under my batch report and I look at the very bottom, you see sample report is in fact there. And so now, if I do my standard batch reporting operations, it will turn that sample report into a PDF and just like all the rest of these reports, allow me to merge it into either a per poll or a per line uh, report merged together with all the rest of the PDFs. And so now I can intermingle my user-defined HTML reports with the standard built-in reports for purposes of batch reporting. And that's the real power of this tool. Um, for purposes of, you know, fine layout and really exotic calculations, the Excel report, user-defined report is better. But to, if I want to be able to include it in a batch report, then I want to use the user-defined HTML report because it can actually be turned into PDF and merged in.